I'm going to put my notes out for sale. And the great news is if you buy both of them, you're going to get bonus note. You can contact me via my email, renamariposa111 at gmail.com. Hi everyone, it's me Dina Amir and welcome to my channel. So for today, we're gonna learn about Manglish phrase, where have. But before I begin for this video, I'm just gonna use informal pronunciation. So for those of you who still not clear yet, what is informal pronunciation? Please watch my number 53 video which is about confusing pronunciation. So our topic for today is where have Manglish phrase. So you will interpret this as mana ada. Mana ada. So what is where have actually? It's not even English. However, we are not talking about this. Where have you been? It's totally have nothing to do with this phrase at all. However, for this phrase, where have you been? In Malay, you will translate this as awak pergi mana? Awak pergi mana? So, I will give you the link down below for the video that you can study about past and present and future. So, for this one, it's totally general phrase. Awak pergi mana? So, it's indication of past tense when you have the word tadi. Tadi is just now. So, awak pergi mana tadi? Or, awak pergi mana semalam? Awak pergi mana semalam? Further explanation, then only indication of either is present or past or future. Okay, we done about where have you been. And then you will also maybe translate this if you really doing direct translation from English to Malay. Mana ada, you will confuse with ada mana. So where is it is ada mana or ada kat mana. Ada mana or ada kat mana. Another example. Where are you now? Awak ada mana sekarang? Awak ada mana sekarang? Or, awak ada kat mana sekarang? Awak ada kat mana sekarang? And another one, where's your village? Kampung awak kat mana? Kampung awak kat mana? Or, kat mana kampung awak? Or, kampung awak mana? That's also acceptable. Okay, we've done about explanation regarding the misconception of the usage mana ada. Now, we're really going to go through the real topic, mana ada. There's three situations where you can use this word mana ada. First one, when you being humble. And the second one, denial. And the third one, when you wanted to oppose or when you wanted to object. So first one, being humble, I will give you some examples here. So the first example of being humble, for example, someone tell you, awak cekap sangat buat kerja. Awak cekap sangat buat kerja. Awak cekap sangat buat kerja. In English, it means you are very efficient in doing your work. And then you trying to be humble. You know that person saying the truth. But anyway, you're trying to be humble. So you say, mana ada? Mana ada? Mana ada? So mana ada here, if you direct translate, it will be where have. But we're not talking about where have in English. We're talking about I'm not. So mana ada? I'm not. So you cannot direct translate for this one. Okay, next we move on to another example. Somebody compliment you. Cantiknya tulisan awak. Cantiknya tulisan awak. Cantiknya tulisan awak. So it means your handwriting is so beautiful. Then you say, mana ada? Mana ada? Mana ada? So it doesn't mean where have. It means it's not. Next one, somebody compliment you. Awak pemurah sangat. Awak pemurah sangat. So, you are very generous. Then you answer. You're trying to be humble. Mana ada? Mana ada? So, mana ada here means I'm not. So, we've done regarding the usage in terms of being humble. Now, we're going to go to the next topic, denial. For example, someone tells you something like this. Saya nampak awak curi makanan saya. Bagi balik. 
Saya nampak awak curi makanan saya. Bagi balik. Saya nampak awak curi makanan saya. Bagi balik. So, in English it means I saw you stole my food. Give me back. So, you try to deny that statement. Then you say, mana ada? Mana ada? Mana ada? So, it's not me. Okay, we finish about the first example for denial. Okay, we move on to the second one. Maybe you tell someone something like this. Walaupun malam tu gelap, tapi saya nampak awak tolak saya. Walaupun malam tu gelap, tapi saya nampak awak tolak saya. Walaupun malam tu gelap, tapi saya nampak awak tolak saya. So it means even though it's dark that night, but I saw you were pushing me. So this one you try to deny, then you say, mana ada? Mana ada? So it means it's not me. It doesn't mean where have. It means it's not me. Okay, next one. This one like childish example of it. When we were young, we were naughty. We like to pull someone's hair maybe. So, for example, somebody pulls your hair. Then you say, Aduh, sakit lah. Kenapa awak tarik rambut saya? Aduh, sakit lah. Kenapa awak tarik rambut saya? Aduh, sakit lah. Kenapa awak tarik rambut saya? So, it means, ouch. So painful, why you pull my hair? So that person will say, that person try to deny because anyway you don't see it. Mana ada? Mana ada? Mana ada? So it's not me. Okay, last one. Last situation where you can use this phrase, where have or mana ada. But it's not really where have, okay? Don't direct translate that. Anyway, in Malay, it's common to say this. Mana ada. Okay, I give here. Example, maybe somebody command you to do something. Tolong ambilkan saya punya pembaris atas meja. Tolong ambilkan saya punya pembaris atas meja. Tolong ambilkan saya punya pembaris atas meja. Please take my ruler on the table. And then you say, tak ada pun kat mana? Tak ada pun kat mana? So, tak ada pun kat mana here means... It's not here. Where is it? And then that person persistently with the opinion that ruler really on the table. Then that person will say, Atas meja lah. Atas meja lah. On the table. And then you again try to object that person. Mana ada? Mana ada? No, it's not. So it's not there. Okay, I give you another example. Maybe somebody tell you something like this. Awak akan pandai. Awaklah jadi ketua. Awak akan pandai. Awaklah jadi ketua. Awak akan pandai. Awaklah jadi ketua. So it means you are smart. You be the leader. And then you say tak nak. Tak nak. I don't want. And then that person again try to convince you to appoint you as a leader. Orang pandai kena jadi ketua. Orang pandai kena jadi ketua. Orang pandai kena jadi ketua. So it means smart people should be the leader. Then you oppose that idea. You say, mana ada? Saya tak pandai pun. Mana ada? Saya tak pandai pun. Mana ada? Saya tak pandai pun. So it means, no, I'm not smart. Okay, last one for this example. Object or oppose. Your friend tells you. Saya dah bagi tahu awak semalam kita kena datang sekolah hari ni. Saya dah bagi tahu awak semalam kita kena datang sekolah hari ni. Saya dah bagi tahu awak semalam kita kena datang sekolah hari ni. So it means I told you yesterday we need to go to school today. And then you oppose with that friends means that friend didn't even tell you. So you say mana ada awak tak bagi tahu pun. Mana ada awak tak bagi tahu pun. Mana ada awak tak bagi tahu pun. So it means no, you didn't even tell me. Well, I guess that's our lesson about where have or mana ada. But please in English you don't translate this as where have. This is Manglish. So it's common if you talk to Malaysians, then suddenly they say where have. So it's actually in Malay mana ada. 
Now you see the meaning and I hope you can connect that when somebody mentioned this kind of phrase to you in real life. Well, I guess that's our lesson for now. Thank you very much for watching and till we meet again then. Bye. I'm going to put my notes out for sale. The great news is if you buy both of them, you're going to get bonus note. You can contact me via my email, renamariposa111 at gmail.com.